Rule of thirds movie review. So Will Hirschfield uh, reached out to me over Instagram and said, hey, um, I would love if you could check out my movie. And I'm going to be honest, I put it off for quite a bit. Um, some personal things going on in the life. I just didn't have time. He asked me around Comic-Con. Me and Phil definitely didn't have fucking time. So I kept putting this off and it's on Prime Video now for free if you have Prime. And I watched it, Phil. And I'm going to be honest. I went into this thinking, oh, it's going to be some low budget, schlocky indie film that I'm I'm not going to be a fan of. Like that that's what I felt. I'm like, I'm just going to roll my eyes and stuff like this. And Will even like, wanted to pay me to watch it. And I said, no, I'm not taking your money, man. Because two things, if I hate your movie, that's not fair to you. That's not fair to you that you just paid me and I'm not going to, and then I'm going to feel like I'm obligated to tell my audience to go see this. And I'm not going to say this is a must watch, but it's kind of solid. Like I watched this and this made me go indie filmmaking at its best, man. Like, well, maybe not its best, but at its solidness to where I can see the glimmers of greatness that I would be interested to see these performers, specifically Will, because he also stars in this, but also some of the others. So this is Rule of Thirds is about Monty Ashcroft, a photographer who meets Dakota Thompson, server, during her during a desert shoot. Instant connection. Despite her secret, their profound bond forms a crux of a story. Now, Rule of Thirds is kind of like a camera thing, so I think that's clever. And as I was watching this, This is how I know I'm into a movie. If I instantly am not playing on my phone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's many times where I've watched stuff at home and I'm flicking through my phone. Usually it's on a Netflix movie and I don't really give a fuck what I'm watching because it's some cliche romantic fucking comedy that Netflix has put out. But as I was watching this, I was like, actually paying attention. Like I, And it's really hard for me to watch streaming stuff. I try not to take digital screeners because I know I'm probably going to play on my fucking phone and that's not fair to anyone. So I try to do as less amount as digital screeners because then I know I have all these distractions. And for me, what I really was engaged by were the performances in here and how this secret comes about because I didn't see the secret coming. And when the secret hits, I was like, Oh shit, that changes a lot of the dynamic of what we've been seeing here. And even if, like, the movie kind of portrays, like, uh, Will's character, Monty, is kind of an asshole at the start, um, and there's obviously some things going on in there, I was always kind of intrigued to see where his story was going to go, and it played off in a unique way. Him and Ashley Moore have really good chemistry. I thought the writing was solid, sometimes a little bit cheesy and melodramatic, but I just watched this, and I was entertained. And I think sometimes when we go to movies, we don't need it to be the most life-changing event. But sometimes you just want to be entertained Mm -hmm. and engaged. And for the most part, Rule of Thirds engaged me. So I'm not going to say, again, it's the best movie ever. But I am going to say that if you're looking for something on Prime Video, that you're interested in watching something that's a little bit more low budget and maybe something that's not your total cup of tea, but you're like, oh, you know, let me support something that's a little bit smaller base. I would say Rule of Thirds you should watch. So I'm going to give this a C on my rating scale. Out of the 1 through 10, I'd probably give it a 6.5. Um, but I would give it a C overall from my actual grade So mm-hmm. from movies. Uh, any questions from you? Um, no, not really. Right. I mean, you did. So it's definitely like the whole... Oh. It's definitely like this whole secret thing that kind of envelops this whole story. Yeah, and like this relationship and like what this profound bond that kind of like comes through them. So Mm -hmm. again, very simple, but very engaging. And also I did not mention this. It is very well shot. Like the cinematography for this was really good. Um, And that was part of the piece that actually locked me in. Cause I've watched indie films before and I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, you know, Mm -hmm. it looks cheap. What am I looking at? Yeah. Like it looks cheap. It looks like something I could have shot on my iPhone and stuff like that. So rule of thirds, check it out if you want. (laughs) 